Hey there guys and gals, YouTubers, welcome back. We are in Subnautica and I'm your host Raven2012. So, trying to remember what we did last episode. I don't know if we had this base, but I'll show you this. Actually, we'll, go, we'll come out here when it's daylight. But I want to show you what I found here. This is the first time I found this in the game. Is the uh, filtration, water filtration machine. And I found this at uh, a couple crash sites. And I didn't know how to do this before. I thought maybe you had to go into some of these crash sites. Maybe like get a laser cutter or something. But what I found out is there's a few crash sites that actually have um, fragments on the outside really close to them. Not many, there's probably about maybe one or two at the most, two at the most. So I went down there and saw that fragment and it showed up the water filtration and I was like, yes. And it only takes two fragments to get this. So I had to go to another crash site and I found the other one. So it's pretty cool. Uh, uses quite a bit of power, but uh, over time it spits out uh, salt deposits and it's almost done here with the water. So if we'll stick around here, actually uh, hear the water. And then we found the modification station and I believe I uh, upgraded my uh, tank to be the high capacity tank. Yep, we did that. So I'm, I'm probably gonna need some, actually maybe I can make the thermal blade. Let's make that. Uh, I need to find some diamonds so we can make the hardened blade. Oh, the water's filling up. Awesome. Uh, the hardened blade, I think, is, is how we get the common coral. So, we need to find that diamond. So, let's grab some water here. And it spits out two salt. And, uh, yeah, it seems to be, what, plus 50 uh, H2O. And we're hydrated. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm glad I found that. So what we're going to do right now is uh, put the bioreactor here because I need another source of power. And the cool thing is, if you remember the last few episodes uh, for this update of my old videos, the bioreactor went on, on the outside. Uh, this is actually something neat and something new. The bioreactor can go inside now. And then we can use, uh, I believe it should give me the options to rotate. Which is uh, Q and E to rotate. So we'll actually put the panel that way. Uh, because I'm going to expand the base towards the left over there, over this way. So I'm really liking a lot of the updates recently with this game because everything uh, you can put inside now, which is uh, pretty cool. I remember these um, multi-purpose rooms were pretty empty and now we're starting to fill them out. So I really like how this works here. So good job guys, um, developers, pretty good. I really like how this fills out now. It looks doesn't look so empty in here. It looks like it actually functions. So yeah, uh, we still got to get, I think, the creep vine and there was some sort of special coral or something, I don't remember. Uh, will this tell? I don't think it'll tell me. Um, let's see, will that tell? Can I go through here? Equipment. I don't see anything yet. So anyways, yeah, I think I'll remember it once I get to that biome. And uh, we'll discuss that later. Uh, what I want to do is... See what we got on us. It's kind of expand the base here while we're recording with you guys. And uh, keep getting some med kits. And I'm going to pop them in here when I get extra. I try to keep two on me because it's pretty hostile out here now. Really hostile. So I got to be really careful. So there is kind of a bug. I think it's a bug. When I used to place solar panels here, if I place solar panels on this, uh, what is this guy called? The platform? Oh, the foundation. If I go inside and say, 
I like slap on the window over here or place anything kind of in here like when I place the uh, water filtration the solar panels will disappear so it's some sort of bug I think so this is why I kind of have them on the outside here uh, not attached really to the uh, any of the structure because I don't want them to disappear I had it twice so I kind of lost the material so they actually kind of function a little bit better outside here because uh, they can get more of the sun in some areas so it's pretty cool I have about what four or five of them now uh, just because of the water filtration takes up a lot of power and that's why I set up the bioreactor because once this gets cranked up it's gonna produce quite a bit of power for a little bit of a time so yeah So what I want to do is expand the base going this way, put another multi-purpose room here, and put another foundation right here. Uh, the reason for that is I want to put the aquarium in this other, the large aquarium in this room, and some odds and ends. And that way, you know, we can uh, get some food going too. We don't have to come out here all the time and grab food. So that's probably what we're going to do this episode. So I need quite a bit of titanium actually. I think we need to get quite a bit of titanium. So I don't think I have enough in here for what I need. Uh, we probably need to go out so that's perfectly fine. So I found using this, uh, this is another underwater vehicle. You never see me that use this. This is called the, um, what is this called? The Sea Glide. It's kind of, it kind of like has this propeller and it helps you uh, just basically go through the uh, water a lot faster uh, uses energy uh, once it runs out the cool thing is you just replace it with the uh, battery which I kind of need to get one let me see if I have one I thought I had some spares we'll go make another one I think I have some copper and I find that the way they made the um, sea moth you gotta find the material or the fragments for it like you don't get it right off the bat I find that nice because I can actually use the sea glide now because before I kind of felt like I could skip the sea glide and just go straight into um, the sea moth and I find this feature pretty cool that now you have to kind of like uh, uh, research it and then we got our batteries and we need to dump the salt over here I think yep I think we're good uh, oh I got my thermal blade that's perfect because now I can eat while I'm on the run perfect <clears throat> And this thing has, like, you can see their topographic imagery in the front there. And then it, got, it's, it has a light in the front, too. Just like the uh, sea moth. So we need to get some scrap. Or uh, some titanium. And we're going to finish building that base here. And we'll go ahead and kill some of these fishes. No, the fish is the fish are pretty hard to get now. They're pretty fast. Awesome. I like I love this thermal blade. It's probably one of my favorite tool upgrades. Cause I hate going back and forth, back and forth going to food. It's a little hard. So let's go find some scrap. So I feel confident where I'm at because I have the steel suit too now that can get some water going. I have the rebreather. We have the fins. I think the other thing we need to build is the fins so we can recharge stuff and then I'll feel pretty confident where we're at. And then I think eventually later on, I'm not in a hurry now, I'm going to get the radioactive suit and then we're going to head over to the uh, Aurora and fix the uh, leak over there. some more of these while we're out here so I really like the base where I'm at these stalkers don't quite go up all the way up to the top where I'm at they're usually on the bottom over there 
We'll grab one of these guys for some water, maybe. Oh, they're too fast. Right, I need some more fish. I'm hungry. Come here. There's... Yeah, these fish are pretty fast now. So, there, there's, like I said, there's some little changes in the game. Yeah, we should be good to go. So, probably... I'm going to need to get some crystals while we're out here, too. And eventually, we need to make some... Uh, reinforcements, so we need to find some lithium. So... I'm probably not going to do that till I actually get the sea moth so we can travel up to the island where we find most of it. Or maybe we'll just take the sea glide somewhere and possibly get lucky. Grab some more crystals. There's some crash down there or whatever those guys are called. There's some more crystals. See if we can pick up. We got four more slots, so we'll save those for like crystals when we're going back. So I'm really, I'm really stoked that we found that freaking water filtration uh, uh, system. Oh, we went too far. Where am I? Let's. Uh, I don't know whereabouts. There's the Aurora. Not too far that way, I guess. We can just top ourselves off here. So we'll head back over to the um, lifeboat here. So I'm still thinking they need to add a little something to this lifeboat, like maybe possibly adding some little generic motor to it where we can actually maneuver it around and reposition it somewhere. Um, I know we can do it right now if we just push on it, but it's very tedious. I think like a little generic motor where we can actually um, reposition it would be pretty cool. Or possibly scrap it somehow and get material out of it. Um, which I don't think that's a feature we can actually do in the game right now. Scrap anything like big like this. Oh wow, we got a lot of uh, titanium, didn't we? Might as well use the power over here, huh? Um, and every time I go buy a med kit, I always grab that guy too, so it respawns. So we'll head over here and uh, get the uh, the base expanded a little bit. And then I think once we do that, I think I need to work on the uh, sea moth a little bit. And we'll do some serious exploring. So I kind of like this area. I always like being in the um, creep vine areas. It's just a little... It, it reminds me of like being in an aquarium or something. So, do that in there. Um, uh, I don't think I needed to come in, did we? We could have just stayed out there. So, I hit the save. I think another feature I wish this game had was multiple save instead of just one. Just in case if there's problems with the game or we need to back up a little bit. So, we'll place the foundation here. Uh, should look pretty good. Yep. And then we'll add the other multi-purpose room here, which is going to be kind of clipping this uh, creep vine a little bit. We're just going to take it down. I don't know if creep vines respawn like um, other things do in the game, like the fish. So we'll see how it looks. It might be a little bit bothersome to the eyes. And uh, I don't want to add the glass yet. I kind of want to add glass, a lot of glass around this one. Uh, we don't need to get that until we get the reinforcement on that. 
So let's go check this out. So yeah, we're going to put the aquarium here. So I don't know if I place the... I think we're done with most of this material. Oh, actually, we can get rid of that. And we'll put the titanium and whatnot here for right now. What I'm going to do is go clear some of these creep vines. Actually, I'm going to use my other blade. Survival knife. Actually, what? Nope, nope. So it doesn't clip over here. <clears throat> oh, there's a freaking stalker. I killed one of these earlier, or yesterday when I was playing. And look at them, they're pretty aggressive now. I think I cleared away that creep vine, didn't I? Uh, what I could do is just run right now and come back. He should be out of that area. Maybe go back down to the bottom. Uh, I don't want him to. I don't want to have him chase me into the base, and then have him try to ram the base. That would just be really bad right now. So I'll opt to run away. That's fine. They're not too much of a nuisance. That was the first time or second time he really bothered me. Uh, it's because I start going below the base, <clears throat> which is their area down there. So we can use this creep vine to make some fiber mesh, which you probably need later on. So works out for us. So let's throw that over here. Let's check out how the Got one of these lockers with material that I rebuilt. See how the water's doing. Oh wow. By the time we need it, we're, there's gonna be more water in here. Perfect. I was actually considering uh, setting up a second one, which we might eventually. Maybe at some other base. So four glass for that. I think that um I think that actually changed the recipe so what was it four glass and just basically one titanium and then we also need to have uh, one two one two three oh we got some right here so get rid of a couple of those give me some glass one two Ooh, I hear water just filling up in the background. You hear that? Uh, do we have the titanium? Yes, we do. And we'll grab this. Probably going to need to have a special locker. Maybe use this one to be all the salt and whatnot. And we'll put all the other stuff here. Take the salt out and put it in here. Oops. We'll hit save again. I do this a lot. It's just good habit, I guess. So let's, uh, I'm a little worried about the structure of how usually you build stuff, it messes up the integrity of the structure. So hopefully this will be okay. So it was fine. So on these, they need they need a hatch to get in there. So we got to build a hatch also, which is two titanium and glass. So we, we did need the extra glass. Which is kind of perfect. And that's how you get the uh, fish in there, if you guys didn't know that. And we'll be good to go. We'll have uh, food supply. Maybe, should I put it here? Yeah, this is probably because I'm pot. 
probably put window here, 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 and here. Yep, that messes the integrity up a little bit, so that's okay. So my last design on my base, I did the double stack on top of there. I didn't really like the way that looked. Let's grab some medical supplies. Grab some water. Makes you just dehydrated. Go grab some fish while we're out here to put in the aquarium. So yeah, I didn't like the way the double stack of the multiple rooms look, so... That's why I didn't do it. I wanted to expand that way. So, uh, let's go towards this. This is towards the light paw. There's fish out here. Now, what kind of fish can we get? I don't think we can catch those, but we can um, get their eggs and grow them in there. The rabbit rays. I thought I already had those scanned. I need two of everybody. Actually, I'm going to need probably more than two because I'm going to eat a couple of them. These guys are okay. I'd rather have... Um, let's get one of these guys in there too. Okay, we got a couple of those. There's actually better fish I want to stick in there that can uh, give us more uh, food. And uh, which way? Let's go this way. What is that? Oh, that's a coral. What do we got on us? Um. I guess I can eat that one guy. Catching some fish. This is how you fish some Nautica style. To cook him. The air sac, I'm gonna keep those and maybe put those in the uh, tank too, just in case if we need some extra water. Which I don't think we do, but... You know, sometimes these survival games, you want to overproduce some of your uh, basic resources so you can always feel safe and have enough of it. Pepperfish. I think we have enough for him. Yeah, we're gonna eat the other one. So... We gotta head out here a little bit because this is... I'm looking for... A certain particular fish and uh, I'll show you who he is once we get it he's usually out in the deeper ends and he gives you a lot more uh, food nutrition There he is, this guy over here. I forgot, I always forget what these guys are called. These guys here. Oh, they're actually hard to get. Uh oh, you better be careful. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw the name, I didn't get to see it. Oh, that's a stingray. We don't need that one. Or whatever. Sugar ray. Sugar ray liner? No. These guys give you quite a bit of food here, so I'd rather have these guys in the tank. Oh, come on! Oh. Where did he go? Man, these guys are a little bit hard to catch now. There's two over here. Oh, they got these guys. I don't like these guys. Stop eating my food! New creature discovered. Spadefish. That's what they are. 
Spade fish, they're really good eatings. Okay, I got a couple. That's what I wanted to put in there. And we'll grab on the way air sack, maybe. If we find one. Grab some crystal while we're out here. Might as well. Maybe some titanium, possibly. Dude, there's some air sack down there. We'll surface for some air. And I found out too here this air bladder. If you just switched inventory, actually, maybe that's affecting my swimming. If you just switch to it back into the inventory, you can actually float right back up. You don't have to sit there and air it up. So I think we're good on the fish we need. The basic fish. And then the fish we'll put in there later will just be decorative stuff. Well, there's a lot of crystal here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to need this. I don't even know where I'm at. Some weird cave. Well, while we're down here, might as well grab some stuff. You never know what's in here. Silver. I mean, we know the way out, kind of. My ear isn't the greatest, and I think that's the exit, so that's perfect. You know all that sandstone. Oh. There's our not so nice buddy. And I think our batter is about to wear out here pretty quick. And you just hit R once it runs out. And boom, you're ready to go. It uh, obviously doesn't last as long as the uh, uh, sea moth, but um, it's actually not bad if you carry batteries also, because batteries don't take a lot to make. Uh, they're easier, definitely easier to make than um, like um, power cells. Definitely easier to make than power cells. So it's not a way, not a bad way to get around, actually. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let's go let our fish out here. Um, right mouse button drop. Alrighty. And then I'll go eat your other buddy. I should actually put a put one of these in here. Fabricator in here so I can cook the fish while I'm in there. So we got some pretty good material out of that run. I'm um, putting all the good stuff here. And then we're just putting crystals in here and titanium. We'll probably have to separate this later when we get a lot more. Let's go tap this medical kit. I don't know how often this uh, spawns one. I think it's like every... So we got water heat too. Yeah, we're staying ahead of the game here. Uh, especially with that uh, still suit. Uh, fins. Oh, that wiring kit and more fins. So, right, guys. I guess that we're gonna call that an episode. So we will see you next time. Bye bye.